good YouTube this is the connect 200 once again and today I have decided to do another tu another tutorial sorry for that stutter so yes I decided to do another tutorial and this is on the game that you see before you that says new besides this one it's called bullet storm now a whole lot of people were saying that they were unable to play the game because they couldn't find the appropriate fix at the same time I can't really blame y'all because I have looked on YouTube since yesterday and I couldn't really find a fix for this game there's been a whole lot of videos here and there saying do this do that well in this video I'm going to explain to you how I came to the to the conclusion to my fix and which steps you have to take so basically I'm gonna do it step by step because I already uninstalled the game that I already fixed and I'm gonna um, redownload it reinstall it and then apply the fix so that way y'all could see how it worked now this is on this is from origin I don't know if it works on Steam but you can also try it from Steam as well if it doesn't work there so basically if you have origin or Steam you just download your game like this and I shall see you in a couple of hours so when this gets done installing I will see y'all in a couple of hours once it's done installing then I'm going to show you the actual steps on how to um, install the fix to this game because everybody hates DRM including myself so especially online DRM which is pretty ridiculous but I'm gonna you know explain to you how to remove all that so I'll see you in a couple of hours all right it has been an hour and a couple of minutes later and the game is ready to be played so if you're on Steam, you do the same thing I'm doing on Origin. All right, let's begin. All right, this pops up here. So in order to get rid of this, I'm going to show you step by step on how to get rid of this Games for Windows Live DRM. All right, first things first. Go to your binaries. Since mine is in a different, on a different hard drive. I have games, origins, bullet storm. Um, for Steam users, you just go to your Steam file, I mean folder, and it's under Steam Apps. Alright, so once you're in the bullet storm, you hit binaries, hit Windows 32, and you have to delete this file right here. Shipping PC Storm Game .xc .zdp. Delete it. Alright, now you go into this folder right here, ZDP, and you delete ZDP config.xml. You delete this. Alright, now once that's deleted, you have to download this file right here. It goes by the name of Bulletstorm GFWL, Bulletstorm Games for Windows Live Fix. So once you downloaded that, and the link will be in the description, once you download that, you extract it via RAR um, program extractor or WinRAR, however you do it. So you extract it. I'm trying to find a damn folder head. <laughs> Hold on, real quick. All right. So go to downloads. And I have the file right here. Alright, so you're gonna have this file right here. I mean, it is good. You're gonna have this folder right here. Now, I believe this is extracted already. Okay, it's not. Okay. Sorry about that. So you extract it here. So right now you have this file and this file. Now, a whole lot of videos say, were saying that you just have to move this file into the binaries. That is not the case. There is a whole lot more to do than just moving this to the binaries. A whole lot of videos were showing that. They were completely wrong because I've tried it many times and it never worked. All right, so we're going to go into this folder title update and we're going to click this right here. We're going to click setup. It's going to do its thing right here.
and we're just gonna wait. Hit finish. This is definitely gonna come up too. And for some reason, it runs my game, but I'm gonna um, close out because there's still more to do. So for some reason, see, it actually does work, but I have to do a little bit more. So once it once the game loads up, I'm gonna close out and do the finishing touches, and that'll be it. As soon as it disappears. So. Let's wait. Alright, I'm closing that out. Now we have the finishing touches, so let's apply them. So what you're going to do here is you're going to copy this file and this file to binaries. I'm so yeah, not binaries. I'm sorry. Binaries into Windows 32. Alright. Replace. Yes. Alright. So what you do is you close out these files right here. I mean these folders right here. Don't know why I keep saying files. Alright. So you close this out. And we're going to play the game. see if this works and there you have it folks Battlestorm without the games for Windows Live DRM if you have any questions or any concerns let me know in the comments section and also, you, and also you can follow my Twitter to let me know if this worked or not. As always, thank you for watching the video. I hope this tutorial helped you out. And I hope it helped out the Steam users as well. Because the Steam users definitely, definitely help us. Alright, it's the Connect 200 and I'm out. Peace.